Ayo, duckies, Andy here, and I'm back with another Obsbot video using the Obsbot Tail Air, an incredible camera by Obsbot. It's literally your all-in-one camera. I've done so many videos on it recently, and a lot of other creators have. It's got AI tracking capabilities. It's got a gimbal. I mean, gimbal. I like the word gimbal. It's great. And a load of different functions all built into it. And did I mention? It's wireless. This is working completely wireless right now. But I want to teach you how you can get the most out of these cameras by connecting it up with your Stream Deck. So they have a lot of functionality, these cameras. As you can see, I've got OBS open right now, and I've got f four cameras on. Uh, my network's a little bit shaky at the moment, so some might lag. They're all connected wirelessly with... Uh, NDI, whereas this one up here is the Obsbot Tiny 2, that one's actually plugged in, so that one's the smoothest at the moment. My network isn't the best, okay, so don't utilize my network as the wireless thing, but like I say, it's all wireless, which is crazy. The delay is amazing, these are all just standard at the moment, I haven't put, I've not basically changed any settings, it's literally plug, connect, play. That is it. If you are wanting to use NDI with these though, you will need an NDI key. So I've got one in the corner over there and I want to control it. I want to move it around. How do I do that? I can obviously use the Obsbot software, which we've got just here. And you can see in the top corner, I can select whichever camera that I want. I really should have labeled these cameras. That would have been really useful for a tutorial, right? But I've not done that. So I'm just gonna start moving one around. Ah, oh, it just happened to be the correct one. So as you can see, I am moving this camera around. Uh, so that one's the, the one that's lagging slightly. That is the furthest one from my router. That is a long way away over there. The router's at the other end of the house through this wall. Um, I can change to any of the cameras and I can control them, as you can see, which is amazing. So if I hold this one in my hand just here and show you guys, where is it? Right there. And as I turn this, whoa, so good. So we're doing that in the Obsbot software, but that's not very handy when you're streaming. If you're streaming like me and you're trying to do a million things on your stream, you don't want to be like, oh, right, I need to open a piece of software, control it, move it around we can do it all in Stream Deck, as long as you obviously have a Stream Deck. So I've got a Stream Deck here. You can use your G keys on a Corsair keyboard, whatever you want to do. And what we're gonna be needing to use is in the Elgato Marketplace. So if I pull this up, you just press that little link and we just do a search for Obsbot right there. Click it, it's completely free, and you press download there. It will ask you to connect uh, and log in. You can use Discord to log in and things like that. And that's just gonna link the Stream Deck software to your um, uh, account, which you then can use to connect to the Elgato Marketplace on the website. We press open in Stream Deck, and it will do its thing. Ask you if you wanna open, you say yes, that's cool. And it'll take a couple of seconds uh, like this, it, it might not look like it's doing anything, but it is, just give it time. I already have mine installed though, so it's not gonna do it, but it will come up with a message saying um, that it's all installed. And if you're not seeing it at the bottom just here, you can press this little hamburger and scroll down and you'll be able to make sure the Obsbot webcam is ticked. So we're gonna press done, and we've got three different functions for it that we can use. We've got set webcam, adjust webcam, and reset webcam. Set webcam is set webcam settings, uh, slash control it, how you want to do it. Adjust is adjust um, webcam settings, and you've got reset, so reset the webcam settings. So I'm gonna do set webcam. We can drag it in, like so. We can select all our different webcams, and they pop up instantly. Like, there's no need to, to worry about it as long as they're connected to your computer, whether they're plugged in or connected via NDI. If you need help connecting them, I have done a video, which I'll leave a link in the description that you can check out. I've done a video on how to install them and how to get a multicam setup in a Five Nights at Freddy's style. It's really cool. Go check them out below because they are really nice tutorials on what you can do with the tail airs. So I'm gonna select one of these tail airs just here. I'm gonna choose different properties. So we've got preset positions. These are all the preset positions that you can actually set inside of the Obsbot software. So I've got this preset zero. I can do another preset if I want to by moving it around, which you'll be able to see if I zoom out. 
I can move this into a new position. Uh, let's let, let's go to my face just up here, and we're controlling the bottom left hand camera. There we go. I'm press add. Boom. We've got two different presets just here. Um, we can update presets, delete them, rename them, so we get whatever name that we want. Now, when I go to the Stream Deck software, I select a property. I say preset position. It will let me have a sub property. In there, we've got preset position one, two, and three. So that's one, two, and three. So I'm going to select one. So when I press preset position one, we're going to move to that original position. So this camera just here, you'll be able to see, and it'll move to position. And that is the actual camera moving itself, which is just crazy to think. Press preset position one, we're currently in. So if I change that now to position two, as you'll see, once I'm holding this here, all automated. It is honestly crazy. And we could do that with all the different cameras at once. We can adjust the zoom property as well. So if I type press zoom, I can zoom this camera in and that is just using the, uh, the zoom functionality which is all in the OBSBOT software just here. So all this zoom here is the same zoom as this. And as you can see, it's kind of overwriting whatever's done in here and updating it periodically. Really nice, it's so good to use. Look how sharp this is, wonderful. So what we can do as well is rather than not just these, uh, obviously you can see how many properties you can use, it is crazy. This is probably the most fully fledged uh, Stream Deck addition I have ever seen. The plugin is unreal. So we also have an adjust webcam, which I love. So the adjust webcam, if I select one of these, I'll choose this one and I will do gimbal move and I will then choose move up, move down, move left, move right. So I'm going to press up. Now we get this little arrow and if I press that, one of my cameras starts moving. The one in the corner. How awesome is that? So if I copy this now and I'll paste it below, paste it to the left and I'll paste it to the right. And I can change all these to left, change this one to right, change this one to down, and we've created a D-pad on the Stream Deck. Now, you'll be able to see, as I'm holding these buttons down, it will start moving the camera, just like so, which I'll be able to show you in all the B-roll footage. I can even press two at once to make it move how awesome is that? Just having it all in one go and then obviously we can do preset positions and snap to those positions as just super easily. And we also have a reset button as well. So if I press reset, put it in there in the middle, change the webcam. So I'm gonna use that same, I'm gonna use this webcam on the this one here uh, because I want to reset the zoom. So if I just do that, press it and boom, starts zooming out and you'll be able to see me just here. It is absolutely phenomenal on how many settings you can change. You can do a full gimbal reset if you want to. I've pressed that. That'll recenter the gimbal. And now we're looking at another cam. It's like camera reception with all these cameras, isn't it? It's like camera reception. So I'm gonna change this camera now to this top one. I'm gonna do the gimbal move and we can watch it moving in this shot just here, which is gonna look awesome. Change it to up. I'm also gonna copy this, paste it over there, there, there. And look how quick it is to set this up. Left, right, down, and it's set up. How cool is this? All connected via Stream Deck. And OBSBOT, and look how smooth it is. You can see both of the camera. Oh, look at this camera reception. I heard if we if we beam all this together, then it's uh, yeah. Look at it, absolutely stunning. It's it's literally it's the future. If you guys haven't seen these cameras before, you definitely need to check them out. I think you can agree that this camera is off the chain and since they've added that functionality to Stream Deck, because what streamer doesn't have a Stream Deck already or G keys on a keyboard, 
it's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, you can even use the, the mobile app for uh, the Stream Deck stuff and then control the cameras. So now you've got automation on your stream and you can control it at any point nice and easy. If you've got any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. And obviously, thanks again, Obsbot, for sponsoring this video. And let's start making some even cooler stuff. Like I say, go check out how I do my Five Nights at Freddy's thing just up here, all right? It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Put your rock over the stone. See you in the next one.